Good evening, once again, and welcome. Now, I think most of you know what it's all about by now. You've just seen a murder committed, and very shortly you will see the rest of the play, and we want you to tell us who done it. Now, we have a panel, as usual. We also have a studio audience, most of whom, everybody, in fact, I hope, has these cards. Do you all have them? Anybody not have one? You've all got them? Yes. Jolly good. Now, later on, I'm going to ask you at home, to uh, the studio audience and the panel, and then you at home, to uh, tell us, in fact, who done it. They will be filling up the cards, giving us some relevant information and some very, very hot clues. Just remember that the whole piece is strewn with red herrings, so don't believe everything you see or everything you hear. I'd like to introduce you now to our panel. First of all, hot from Special Branch, George Sewell. <laughs> hot from 58 feature films, actor, director, producer, David Hemmings. <laughs> and actress Sally Jeeson, hot. <laughs> and also a man who is uh, hot from uh, running uh, a donkey derby this afternoon, and he swears to me that he won it, Joe Lynch. <laughs> well, without more ado, let's go back to the action. And now here comes Daphne in a fabulous Té Dansant creation. Notice the flared skirt, which also blends nicely with the accessories. This shape is going to dominate the entire fashion world in the coming year. No, sir. Only the introduction. Oh, thank you. That was very nice, Daphne. Thank you. And now, Miranda will show you our new line in White Branch Mink. <laughs> I'm sure Miranda is waiting to show us. I've just If you will be patient, ladies and gentlemen, I will try and find out what has happened. Yes. I'm very sorry, ladies and gentlemen, there has been an accident. Quiet, please. Please be quiet. It's all right. Will you be calm? We will telephone for the police to clear everything up. There's no need. I am the police. Inspector Martin. Yes. I have an appointment with a Mr. Rowland. I was in the area, so I came early. I'm Mr. Rowland. It's just as well that you're here, Inspector, from what I've just heard. Shall we go upstairs? Excuse me, sir. That gentleman just about to go. Yes. Will you stay, sir, just for a minute? In fact, I'd like you all to stay for a minute. Make sure that no one comes in or goes out. Yes, sir. Thank you. Right, Mr. Rowland, we go to your office. Uh, we'll go this way. I'll lead the way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please don't worry. This will only take a few minutes. Everything's under control. Dead, I'm afraid. Shot through the chest. Miranda Wells. Yes, that's right. The model. Yes. All right, let's have the others over. We'll have photographs and fingerprints. The lot. And make it fast. Inspector, may I remove the fur coat? I don't want it to get marked. Please, Miss... Uh, oh, Aylesbury. Miss Aylesbury, I don't want anything touched or changed. Miss Aylesbury, are you the one who discovered the body? Oh, no. I was uh, downstairs in the salon, just about to change. Julian came in and told me. Julian? Uh, I'll get it for you, Inspector. Excuse me. Let's sit down, Miss Hales, if you like. Oh, this is Julian Wade, my partner. Take a seat, Mr. Wade. Now, tell me what happened. Well, nothing happened, really. I, I was passing and I heard a crash. I came in and, and saw Miranda lying on the carpet. Then I heard a scream behind me and saw Sarah, um, Miss Dickens, standing in the doorway. I took her downstairs and told Daphne. Where is Miss Dickens now? I, I really don't know. I left her downstairs in the changing room. All right. All right, you can all go downstairs. I'll join you there in a moment. Uh, not you, Mr. Rowland, please, if you don't mind. Just a few more questions. Of course, Inspector. I'm sorry you had to endure part of my little fashion show. I'd hoped to have it finished by the time you arrived. Mm. 
bushel up again. I've built up my reputation over many years. Roland isn't my real name, it's Arthur. Arthur Oldham. Well, that's not ideal for the fashion world. Oldham, is it? No, I suppose not. My name, Roland that is, is the biggest name in the business. Well, I don't suppose you're familiar with the fashion world, Inspector? Uh, no, sir, no, not too familiar, no, sir. Well, the success of a fashion house depends on two things. One, it's designs. Two, keeping those designs secret until the very moment of launch. That is the day when the press, in fact, the whole world, see all the creations for that season for the first time. I see, and by that time, it's too late to copy them. Exactly. Why did you send for me? Somebody has been showing my designs to my rivals. So much so that these creations have been appearing in other fashion houses before I had the time to launch them myself. But aren't your designs locked up? Locked up? They're worth thousands. I have the latest rim lock. Heavy duty. A wall safe. I'd rather you didn't touch the actual safe, sir. It's a Lemington. Yes, I know the type, sir. Um, how many other people have that key? Well, only myself. I still keep it with me, even when I give the rest of the keys to Connor, the security man. And you always keep it on you? Always. Well, the other day, just before lunch, I set a trap. I've been working all morning on my latest designs. Then I placed them in the safe in such a way that if they were moved in the slightest, it would break the hair I had glued to the back wall and to the designs. Well? Uh, when I came back from lunch, the hair was broken. Someone had removed the designs and photographed them and put them back. I see. Was there anything else in the safe? 150 pounds, petty cash. Mm. That's Sorry. still there. It seems that uh, Miss Wells surprised someone who'd opened your safe, got shot in return. Sure. Do you recognize this gun? Yes, it's kept in the safe. It's mine. We have some more action to come, but for those of you who've just come in, let's recap the story so far so that you're quite clear. Here we go. A famous model, Miranda Wells, is shot. And downstairs, Mr. Rowland, a fashion designer, is comparing his latest show. Well, the body is found, and Police Inspector Martin takes charge. He questions Mr. Rowland in his office. Other suspects are Daphne, a model, and Julian Wade, who is Roland's partner. Roland knows his secret designs are somehow being photographed and sold to his rivals. But did that someone kill Miranda? Thank you for your patience. You can all leave now. But will you please give your name and address to my sergeant at the door? Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, I I'm sorry, sir. Uh, not you, if you don't mind. Would you stay for a moment? I'd like to ask you a few questions. What is all this about, Inspector? Will you give me your name, sir? Well, that's just a little embarrassing. I'm Howard Marshall. Of all the nerve! He's one of my so-called rivals. I've never seen him until today. If there's anyone to blame, he probably is. I don't know what you're referring to, but it all sounds rather libelous to me. A model, Miss Miranda Wells, was shot, probably murdered. Just as this show started. Good God. I would say about, about 2.30. Just about the time I saw you leave the audience, Mr. Marshall. What on earth do you mean by that, Inspector? Just tell me where you went, sir. 
I went out and looked for a telephone. I remembered I had to make an urgent call. I couldn't find the telephone, but just as I was looking down the corridors, I saw Mr. Rowland dash down the stairs as if the devil himself were after him. He was holding his hand with his handkerchief. I looked around a little more, and I gave it up and came back to the main salon. Why didn't you go into the street, sir? There's a box outside. Oh, is there? Well, I didn't want to waste too much time. Oh, I can imagine you were too frightened of missing anything. Not from what I've seen today. Then why were you here? Well, since the poor girl is dead, I suppose I can tell you. Miranda was doing her last show for you today. I came by her special request to escort her after the performance. Why did she ask you to escort her, sir? Because she was extremely worried and very frightened. Absolute rubbish. Did you start your show on time, Mr. Rowland? Well, as a matter of fact, uh, Miss Aylesbury did start it off. Uh, just for a few minutes, I soon came back. I'd mislaid my notes and found them in the changing room. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Excuse me. Hello, Miss Dickens. You all right? Now, can you tell me where you were when this show started? I was just leaving the changing room. Where is this changing room? It's on this floor, just behind the stage entrance. I was just outside when I heard this crash from upstairs and a heavy thump. I dashed out and ran upstairs. Julian was there, looking down at Miranda. Oh, my God! I screamed, and Julian took me back to the changing room. That's all for now, you two. Uh, Miss Dickens, one more question. Was uh, Mr. Rowland in the changing room? No. No, he wasn't. Uh, thank you. Mr. Wade, was the safe open or closed when you went in? It was closed, I think. Yes, it was definitely closed. I remember thinking that if it wasn't a robbery, what was going on? Did you go right into the room? No, I really didn't have time before Miss Dickens arrived. Ah, oh, Mr. Rowland. Have you used your office today? Uh, only first thing in the morning. And not afterwards? No. But, uh, Mr. Marshall says he saw you running downstairs just before the show began. Oh, well, yes, I went up to the washroom to bathe my hand. You see, I'd scratched my hand just before on a piece of scenery backstage. Oh, come on, Rowland. Why don't you admit you had a fight with Miranda? She was leaving you, wasn't she? And you can't stand being jilted. You've been jealous from the beginning. I wouldn't be surprised if you did it for revenge. Gentlemen, please. Do you know what this is? It's a flashbulb. Used for taking pictures indoors. I found it on the carpet in your office, Mr. Rowland. It's been used and it's crushed because somebody stepped on it. Come on. Sir. Where were you during the start of the show? Well, sir, I was at the door's take of the tickets. When the people went into the salon, sir, I went over to Miss Aylesbury and asked her if everything was all right and, and whether she wanted me for anything. Where was this exactly? The, over here, sir. Uh, just about here. So you've passed the staircase? Well, yes, sir, but uh, so did everyone here. Connor, do you know anything about photography? No, sir. Then why are you carrying flashbulbs in your pocket? How, how did you know that, sir? They clink as you move. Try it yourself. So they do, sir. Well, that's very observant of you, sir. Yes, it is. Thank you. What are they doing there? Well, sir, uh, I was clearing up. Uh, Mr. Rowland's photographer um, was taking some photographs this morning. He left them behind. Uh, he also left some of his other equipment over there, sir. Your stuff? Yes, sir. He said he'd pick it up later. Mm -hmm. Mr. Connor? Sir? Can I see the soles of your shoes? Shoes, sir? Yeah. Oh, yes. 
Other one? Okay, thank you. Now, you, sir. All right. Julian. No, one will do, sir. It's glass. Well, sir? If I told you what really happened, nobody would believe me. Try me. Well, I did go up to the office just before the show was to start to meet Miranda. But when I arrived, she was already there, lying on the carpet. Then something hit me hard from behind. The next thing I remember is waking up. It couldn't have been more than a few minutes. I saw her lying there, dead. And I found that my hand had been scratched. I wiped off all my finger marks and the eyes. It would have looked bad for me, sir. So I panicked and ran down here. I tried to appear as though I hadn't gone upstairs at all. Was the safe open? Yes. Did you close it? Yes, just before I ran out. And why did you do that? Uh, some silly reflex action. So you're I, saying I... that somebody who had killed Miss Wells hit behind the door, knocked you unconscious, scratched your hand, and laid the blame on you? Mm hmm Ms. Hillsbury, when Mr. Wade and Miss Dickens came down to tell you about the murder, what did you do? I went to tell Mr. Rowland. Do you know anything about cameras? No, nothing at all. But uh, Miss Dickens used to be a photographer's assistant. Perhaps you should ask her. Oh, well, that's true. Uh, but I never got to handle the cameras or anything. I, I just helped with models and, and the lighting. I admit that Miss Aylesbury was almost right. Though I'm surprised she's even noticed me. Ever since I've been here, she's been so obsessed with jealousy about Miranda and Mr. Rowland, she spent most of her time following them around like a great shadow. Well, why not? Rowland and I were very close until that bitch arrived on the scene. We were going to get married. Mr. Connor, could Sorry. you open that uh, office safe? Well, sir, you'll, you'll, you'll see by me service record. What sir. service? Uh, I was in the commando, sir. Uh -huh. So you see, I was trained to open these things. So you could? Well, I reckon I could open that one without too much trouble. Though, mind you, sir, I'd have gone for money. Mm. I'm not interested in any fancy designs. Mm. Uh, Mr. Marshall, let's have you in here, please, sir. Yes, of course. Right. Mr. Rowland, I'm afraid it looks bad for you. You were at the scene, and you've got some scars to show for it. Unless somebody's trying to pin it on you. Mr. Marshall, you have plenty of time to go upstairs and return before the show began. Oh. Mr. Wade, I believe that the whole business comes to you if anything should happen to Mr. Rowland there. And you were found beside the body just after the crime. Mr. Connor, Sir. you have already admitted that you could open that safe. Miss Dickens, I've never yet heard of a photographer's assistant who can't handle a camera, even if it was only loading it. And Miss Aylesbury, you've got plenty of motive. I'm now going to ring the office and tell them that I'm charging and bringing in the person responsible. Tell you there's some very, very puzzled looks over there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment where we introduce to you our suspects. And they are. <laughs> 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 
Inspector Martin, Miss Aylesbury, Howard Marshall, Miss Carter, Julian Wade, Mr. Rowland, Miss Dickens, and Sean Connor. Uh, this is uh, the point where the panel, in fact, have a chance to question our suspects. But first of all, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to explain to you that you have a 20-second replay allowed to each one of you. Now, I'm going to go down the line, starting with you, George Shaw, and I'm going to ask each one of you which particular part you'd like to see back. So, George Shaw, which would you like to see? Uh, where the, uh, in the where the, he found the flash bulb, that section. Where area. the flash bulb was found. Was found. Yes. Right, you are, David Hemmings. I'd like to see the moment when they go um, for the first time into the room. Three, the three people into the room early on. It's in the first section. Right, you are. The first they time go the three people go into the room early on in the piece. Sally Jeeson. Well, I'd like to see the piece where Howard Marshall first comes into the room. Into the, the first entrance of Howard Marshall. first entrance. Right, first entrance of Howard Marshall. And Joe Lynch. I'd like to see where Julian puts his plans away, alleges he put them away in the safe and set his little trap with the hair. Right, you are. You will see that. Right, now, while they're looking for those upstairs, I'd like to go down the line, starting with you, George, if I may, and uh, would you ask a question of the suspect? Yes, um, Mr. Rowland... You said with great certainty uh, that the, uh, your drawings had been taken from the safe and photographed. You said, uh, all right, so you, you knew that they had been taken out from this hair thing, but you said, and had been photographed. How did you know they'd been photographed? I didn't say it with certainty. I said, photographed, probably. D did you, in I'm... fact, say probably? No, I didn't no, say so, but I'm, said, I hope my face they had been it. taken out and photographed. And photographed, I said, well, what else could be done to them? I suppose they could be penciled in, but I take it that they were photographed. I mm. see. Thank you. I don't think it's a very satisfactory answer, really, do you? No, no. However, David, David, ask a question. I'd like to ask a question first, to, just to recap the point. Um, you, you are the only pe person that has keys to your safe, right? Didn't you say... Me? Yes. Yes. And... Uh, and uh, here they are. Could you just... Um, Tell me, you said at one point something about leaving a key with the security man. Was that right? Well, no. I, I give up. You know, I gave up the other keys to the security man, but but the ones or the one to the safe, a Limington it was, I kept. And no one else this. ever has think, another key. That, that, I that hope is not. Yeah, that's about three questions. Oh, sorry. Yes, <laughs> Sally, would you like to ask a question? Yes, I'd like to ask a question to Julian Wade. It's you, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you said that. You heard Miss Dickens scream, so you came upstairs. Then later on, I feel sure you said, uh, w when we saw the bit of film of you coming upstairs, she was already in the room, screaming, and you came up. No, I didn't say I heard Miss Dickens scream. I was making some last-minute adjustments to a dress that one of the models wears later on in the show in a workroom, and I heard a thump. I didn't hear a scream. And I, as I passed the office, I investigated and... Very, very good answer. Joe. I'd like to know what county in Ireland Sean Connor comes from. <laughs> well, sir, I, I come from Dublin, sir. Just outside, a long time ago I was born. I live, I'm living in Kilburn now, so in North London. <laughs> ah, <laughs> County Kilburn. Uh, uh, no, sir. But I then thought it might it have been was... County Hammersmith. Uh, no, sir, no, no, no. No, it, then it was just, uh, just up near Crow Park, sir, in Dublin. Yeah, Do you know Crow Park? Gentlemen, sir? gentlemen, yeah, yes. gentlemen. Oh, yeah. I mean, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. It's lovely, it's lovely of you. Of you to take us to this green and pleasant land, but is this, you know, oh, yes, pertinent sir. to the point? Is he a genuine commando? <laughs> ah, yes, sir. Yes, indeed, sir. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have, in fact, the first playback ready, and it is uh, Sally Jeeson's. It's where Howard Marshall arrives, first of all, at the show, uh, when he comes into the door for the very first time. That's what you wanted to see. Here we are. This shape is going to dominate the entire fashion world in the coming year. <laughs> no, sir. Only the introduction. That was very nice, Daphne. Thank you. Well, sorry, I hope that was a great help to you. Would you like to ask a question on the strength of that? No, I was... Oh, no, I was on the wrong path altogether. <laughs> you were... Were you really? Yes. Oh, we, we fooled you at the moment. <laughs> yes, I, I was totally confused. I thought that Mr Rowland wasn't, was in the room then, but in fact he said he wasn't. 
I was very Yes, I see what you mean. <laughs> yes, it can get confusing. <laughs> David, you're leaning forward akimbo. Do you want to say something? Oh, I'm totally and absolutely confused. <laughs> I feel, I feel like music, I did it. It's music to my <laughs> ears, I tell you. <laughs> Um, would you like to ask a question? I would, just, can I just say, did you actually show a card when you arrived? Yes, I did. You did? Out of shot, where I showed a card. Yes. And now a quick question, but just w while I'm on that little moment. There seemed to be something wrong with your eye at the beginning of the piece. What was that? My eye? Yes. You took off your glasses and it looked as if... I was worried, I was worried. There was something wrong with your eye. I just, you know, it was did, did you know this because else? the girl just... wasn't turning up. It's a sort of... Filthy habit you have, is it? <laughs> Not a filthy one. No, no, no. I've got a tired eye. I see, yes. Yes, Mr. Oldham has some very filthy habits. <laughs> <laughs> you are a suspect, sir. I mean, you, you may put your foot right in it by those, those uh, uncalled for remarks. Might I ask Arthur, uh, sorry, Roland, a question? Arthur's right. Do you seriously expect us to believe that you had never seen your arch rival Hard Marshal before? You didn't know him by sight? Of course not. Your I mean, answer, your answer I mean, was there, gentlemen. Wait a minute, just gentlemen, if you, if you don't mind, we have the next playback. Oh. Uh, it is, in fact, David Hemming's playback. Uh, the inspector on the telephone to the yard in, uh, in Roland's office. Uh, he, uh, he's just come up and the, uh, he's seen the body for the first time. He's on the telephone. It's coming up on your screens now. General, please don't worry. This will only take a few minutes. Everything's under control. Dead, I'm afraid. Shot through the chest. Miranda Wells. Yes, that's right. The model. Yes. All right, let's have the others over. More we'll photographs and fingerprints. The lot, and make it fast. Inspector, may I remove the fur coat? I don't... Hmm. Oh, David? Oh, Does it's it help? fantastic help. Yes, I know exactly <laughs> who it is now. Thank heavens for that. <coughs> Would you like to put another question? Not for a minute, no. Another I have minute. to uh, just gather myself. <laughs> Joe, Joe, without getting into, uh, you know, um, I love you, you're Irish, and all that bit. Would you like to put some questions to, uh, to the, uh, the suspect? Yes, you see, uh, I'm worried about the knockout blow that Roland suggests he got. As very few people can knock you out with one blow, even an Irishman would have to be a commando to know how to do it. So you're a genuine commando. Oh, yes. You could, yes. You could take a man out of play with one blow. Well, it's a long time ago, sir. I said I was in the commando, sir. I, I, I'm not now, sir. I'm a security man with Mr. Roland. Yeah, it's it's like a long time ago. It's bicycle, you never forget. Ah, uh, well, to some extent... Yeah, gentlemen, I... gentlemen, we have the next playback. And it is, in fact, your playback, Joe. This oh. is where Roland was setting the trap in the safe. You know, when he took his hair out and put it in. Very yep. painful. Here we are. I've been working all morning on my latest assigns. Then I placed them in the safe in such a way that if they were moved in the slightest, it would break the hair I had glued to the back wall and to the designs. Any help, Joe? Well, yeah, I, I've always liked his acting and I really want to see that bit again. <laughs> but you I mean, mean, just wanted to see his acting, you didn't well, want well, to Well, that, that and the fact that, how can you glue a hair with spittle, if you'll pardon the expression, <laughs> to the back of a safe in a centrally heated office? My spittle is very sticky. <laughs> also, I, was batting, I was batting on a sticky spittle there, <laughs> I'll tell you. Now, if, if, I, if, now, I may, if I may say so, gentlemen, you are in great danger of splitting hairs. <laughs> Well, well, I have, I, have, I have another question. You have another question. He said he'd been working on his designs all morning. Yes. Surely, I mean, these well, don't designs... Don't ask me, don't ask me, Joe. Well, they were fait accompli long Weeks before ago. the morning of the show. Weeks ago. Weeks you see, ago. I'm, I'm wearing a different suit in this particular scene. It's oh, not the ridiculous. same day. Yes, it's not the same day. I was working once upon mm -hmm. a time. Yeah. I've been suspecting trouble all the time. And, of course, that other question, how sure you were that they were photographed, you did answer that, but I'm I not happy sure. about it. Gentlemen, we have, we have the last uh, playback. Uh, George Sewell, your playback is coming up. The point where the inspector talks about the flash bulbs, right? Where he holds it up yes. and shows it. Here we are. Do you know what this is? It's a flash bulb. Used for taking pictures indoors. I found it on the carpet in your office, Mr. Rowland. It's been used and it's crushed because somebody stepped on it. George. You said it'd been crushed. Still mm -hmm. looked pretty solid to me. The actual no, bulb that, that, part. What we actually saw was the outer plastic case. These things have got an outer plastic case and a glass inside. What we saw was the plastic case which retains its shape. 
got to point well, it out. If it's got a plastic case outside, how would glass get onto the floor and onto somebody's shoe? Because shirt? It, it crushes, the base falls away, the inside filament of the glass cover is crushed, and there's plenty of glass. That is the but best you were holding it up by the... heard of a flash bulb being crushed. I think that is brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Off I'd like to ask Howard Marshall a question about his... How long did you have an association with Miranda? Well, I... I've never really had a close association with Miranda. <laughs> she, she was coming to join you, wasn't she? Um, and oh, well, yes, indeed, she was coming to join me. I met her at Le Rendezvous, an extraordinary club where many of them. Yeah, we don't her. need to go into that, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> could you could had, you speak up? Had she little? also been supplying you with information, for example? Not at all. What an extraordinary remark to make. I mean, why should she? May I ask you that? Why should you think? No, sir, you may not ask I me. I beg your pardon. No. They can ask you, you can't ask them. Yes, Joe? Could I ask Mr. Marshall how he felt when he was confronted, or rather confronted, uh, Mr. Rowland, and Rowland said he'd never seen him before? Because he seemed very put out that the inspector didn't know him by sight and by name. Well, he was embarrassed. He was lying. He, he was knew. lying? You think yes, he was lying? Yes, yes. Mm, so do I. He knew me from a long time ago. Mm -hmm. He was just... We have time for a couple more questions. Yes, please, George. Uh, you said you heard a crash. Yeah. You didn't hear a shot? No. Just a crash? Just a crash. What do you think I was, that, what do the you work think that promise, crash was? I had no idea. I thought somebody perhaps had an accident or fallen. That's why I went it's into the, the office. The crash sounded like a fall. Gentlemen? Yes. I'm sorry, but your time is up. The questions have now finished. Uh, I want to uh, ask the panel and the studio audience to fill these cards up now, if you would. Uh, who done it at the top? As many clues as you can possibly put in the list there. And uh, you at home, I hope that you know. Come back in a few minutes and see if you're right. Bye for now. We've collected the cards from the panel, and we also have a card from a, a winner in the audience. First of all, I'd like to go down the panel and uh, ask you, first of all, George Sewell, who done it? Well, there were quite a lot of red herrings. I was a bit puzzled about the crash and not the shot, and also the strange thing. I wasn't really satisfied about that uh, flash bulb. But I think I'm going to be conventional and plump for the one who was the most likely from all the clues, although they were probably trying to lead us away from him. George, you're killing it me was, with suspense, right, so is it? <laughs> I, I'm sure it was Mr. Rowland. Mr. Rowland? Yes, he'd um, found out about the association of Howard Marshall and the murdered woman. He thought that one and the same uh, moment he would el eliminate a former lover uh -huh. and a rival. Right, David? I must say, I found it extraordinarily difficult, and I suspected the inspector for ages and ages. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> Uh, but um, th there are all kinds of things. I tried to do it on the basis of relegating red herrings, and yeah. I didn't believe that, uh, that Mr. Rowland, in fact, I thought there were a lot of red herrings around his character. Yes, David, who uh, done finally, it? Finally, Miss Aylesbury, I think, did it. You think Miss Aylesbury did it? Yes. Sally, who done it? Well, I was totally confused, but I think... Oh, actually, my, my, my answer is a little confusing, because I think the inspector did it, but Miss Aylesbury hired him. To do it. You think Miss Aylesbury hired the inspector to do it? <laughs> do you hear that, George Sewell? Inspectors come in. Well, <laughs> all... <laughs> I think that, uh, that all, all, all things are possible. Joe Lynch, who done it? Well, I, I, I should have asked the inspector, really, straight yes. out, because at the very end, and I quote, he said, I am now going to ring the office and tell them I am charging somebody with the murder. Yes. And I should have asked him, and I never did. No. <laughs> because it would have ended the show there and then. He yes. probably shot me. No, well, I, I, I don't believe Howard Marshall. No. I don't believe he had an arrangement with Miranda. Joe. I think Joe. he tried. I suspect... Joe, please tell me. Who done it? <laughs> you mean who did it, Eddie? Who did it? <laughs> <laughs> I would say Howard Marshall. Howard Marshall, that's mm. your answer. Ladies and gentlemen, we, uh, we have a winner from the audience. Her name is... Ah! Oh! <laughs> that's a funny name. 
I've got hit by the murder weapon. He can't spell it, but he can pronounce it. Mrs. King. Many, many congratulations. Yes? We do, in fact, have a winner and two, three very, very good clues. Now, you, you may take as a gift any of the exhibits uh, that you've seen in the play. There we are. What would you like? There's a camera, there's a handbag, a lamp, watch, stove. You like the stove? There we are. With our best love and congratulations. Joe, you did say it was rather difficult to hit anybody and knock them down with one blow. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> right, now, let's go down there. Joe Lynch, you know, let's start with George. George Sewell, you said that Mr Rowland did it. David Hemmings, you said that Miss Aylesbury did it. Uh, Sally Geeson, you said that uh, Inspector <laughs> did it. Uh, and Joe Lynch, you said that... Uh, Howard Marshall. Howard Marshall did it. With the real murderer, please stand up. No. Oh, yeah. One of our own <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. I, I must say, I've never <laughs> seen in my life a collapse of so many stout parties. <laughs> well, nobody's won on the panel. There'll be £25 going next week, ladies and gentlemen, to the, to the next winner. It's quite clear now. Sean done it. He was robbing the safe. He was caught in the act of robbery. And so he fired the gun in panic. Now, the clues, the clues are quite simple when you really think about it, you see. Sean remarked that he would have gone for the money and not the designs. Well, that implies, in fact, that he knew the contents of the safe, uh, which earlier he said he'd never seen inside it. Sean also uh, knew how to open the safe, which was quite, uh, quite clear. He also uh, had been photographing the designs with a miniature camera using a tiny flash gun with flash bulbs. But the camera that you saw, in fact, had an electronic flash, and so it wouldn't need flash bulbs. Also, uh, there was a broken flash bulb found at the scene of the crime, and uh, Connor was the only man who had flash bulbs on his person. It's quite simple when you work it out, isn't it? Don't you think? And next week, the problem is, did he fall, or was he pushed, pushed. from the roof? <laughs> Why don't you join us and see? God bless you all. Good night from the panel, and good night from the cast. And good night, and God bless you all from me. Have a very happy week. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>